My name is Mike Nelson. My current project was collecting bottom samples for the Marine Research Society. Not the most exciting job in the world, but it was easy. A welcome change from salvage and deep search. bottom surge caught me. I had to fight it. As I did, I saw the piece of paper. Only it wasn't a piece of paper. It was a $20 bill. I saw another, and another. It was raining money three fathoms deep in the Pacific Ocean. It could have come from anywhere. At the moment, I didn't care. I just helped myself. I should have remembered my mother's old saying about money not earned, buying nothing but trouble. present another thrill-packed episode of Dempsey of the Deep. I was 200 feet down in the waters off Nova Scotia. In December, that can be chilly work. The cold didn't bother me half as much as the certain knowledge that I wasn't the only diver there. I knew that unless I were more careful than I'd ever been before, this would be Brad Dempsey's last dive. I fired my trusty spear gun. I missed then, from out of nowhere, that presence I had only sensed was upon me. This was a man to be reckoned with. Huh? Talk to you. Well, if we get to pay a fine or something? Or something. Well, do we talk here, Mr. Nelson, or uh, downtown? Oh, sure. Come on in. Well, it's more than a two-dollar fine, you know, for passing counterfeit money. Oh, oh, that's impossible. Oh, it couldn't have been counterfeit money. I, uh, checked one of them at the bank. They said it was okay. One of them? Well, yeah, sure. I found a bunch of them at Sabre Cove. You checked one with the bank, and then you spent one at a local store. That one came back to me. I have several dozen like it. Makes me very interested in how you happen to uh, find it. Listen, I'll be glad to tell you. I'll be glad to help in any way I can, but... I get the feeling that you think... That... I'm not thinking anything. I'm just gathering facts. Better gather me a lawyer. I'm Bill Sonderman. I checked with Commander Mason at the Coast Guard. He said to shake you up a little. <laughs> Boy, you sure did a good job of it. Uh, my friend Mason. He is your friend, Mike. I'm here because he recommended you. Have you got the rest of those bills? <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, she looked like a real thing to me. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Did to the bank, too. Yeah, except for one thing. All the serial numbers are the same. You see there? Oh, my gosh. They sure are. I was about to notice that. These bills are perfect otherwise because they were printed from perfect plates. They were printed on bleached out $1 bills, so the paper's perfect too. Mike, we have to recover those plates. And you're our best bet. Well, okay. What do I do? Keep on working the cove. Keep your eyes and ears open, and every time you get a chance, spend one of those bills. Talk it up about how you found them. I'll tip off the newspapers and get you interviewed with pictures and all that. What for? Well, maybe one of the men we're after will come after you. You know what to do then. I know what Dempsey the Deep would do. Hmm? Now, get on the phone, Mike. One call to us, and you'll have more help than you can imagine. Well, that's the part I like. Uh, Dempsey the Deep, uh, who's that? 
You never heard of Dempsey the Deep? Well, no. Pass him animation about him. All right. Sonderman's job turned out to be more tedious than collecting bottom samples. The next ten days, I worked my way along the full curve of Saber Cove. Underwater, I kept trying to find that same strong current. Not that I had much chance. There are hundreds of currents. I had just decided to surface when I saw them. I'd seen other divers in the past two days, but none of them had been towing seagoing bundles. I decided to see where this one was going to. Something wrong, sir? Just a little curious about that uh, bundle you've been towing. Oh, that's our lunch. What? Our lunch. What difference does it make? We're having a picnic. Is that so? Of course it's so. Yes, sir. Penny made everything in here herself. If you'd like to see. Uh, it's lunch, all right. Looks like a good one, too. Uh, have fun. Enjoy yourself. How can he say that? How can he? Spoiled it all. I'm sorry. Oh, well, don't be. You didn't spoil anything. Oh, he did too. Benny! Excuse me, sir. I was a good diver. The one concrete result of my 10 days gum showing had been to put the damper on a teenage picnic. If I had known the trouble that those kids would meet up with after their picnic, I'd never have left that barren little island. I headed for the mainland and the first available phone booth to resign as an amateur secret serviceman and pronto. It isn't fair. Really, it isn't. Hmm? What isn't fair, Penny? The whole thing. Chas, do you love me? Well, you know I do. Well, then let's get married. Right now, today. Oh, let's. Well, look, honey, um, we just got out of school. Well, which way to turn yet? <sighs> Besides, I haven't got a job. You know that. You don't want to marry me, is that what you're saying? Chad, don't you want to live? Don't you want to see things and do everything? Don't you? 
Sure I do. Not all in one day. Take me home, Chess. I said take me home. Well, all right, if that's the way you want it. Better clean this mess up first. That's right, Chess. Always do the right thing. Sunderman. Bill? Mike Nelson. Oh, yeah, Mike. What have you got? Nothing. No good, Bill. After ten days, I should have come up with something. You know, if I'm your best bet, you sure picked a loser. You're wrong, Mike. I may lose, but not on you. So, what do we do? Wash it out? Yeah, I'd say so. I'll have to dig up another lead on those plates. But I can't thank you enough for your try. Uh, thank you for all that publicity. You know, I've been mistaken for everybody since those pictures came out. I'll see you, Bill. So long. Hey there. If you're, uh, if you're Nelson, aren't you? The guy that found that money underwater? That's right. I'm the guy. Found at Sabre Cove. Yeah, I saw your picture in the paper with the boats. I was wondering how you happened on all that dough. Uh, wish I knew. Come on, you know. <laughs> I saw your boat in the cove quite a few times the last five or six days. Oh, yeah, you have, huh? How come? Well, I, I've been looking for the green stuff myself, only on top of the water. Waste of time, huh? Well, I don't know. What I found was underwater. Well, that's where it comes from, but you saw just where. At uh, Little Island, I bet. Uh, Sawtooth? Uh, nothing but sand and stone. No place to hide anything on that island. Yeah. Well, maybe so. Uh, it's just a waste of your time to hunt around Sawtooth. Well, you want to know. So I'm looking. Chas, I'm leaving. Uh, you wait for me. I'll be through in a minute. Penny was on her own stubborn way, and to a destination she couldn't have guessed. A destination that was being determined for her by the diver that she didn't even see. back at Sabre Cove for another look at this supposedly deserted island. Bill Sonderman had agreed that there probably wasn't any clue out here to those counterfeit plates. But I had to come back anyhow. A nosy character on the mainland who asked a few too many pointed questions had stirred up my interest again. Go! 
Easy now. Stay down. I went bad, but he wasn't there. Easy, so I can understand you. Oh, maybe, maybe he's drowned. It's all my fault. I picked you out of it. Stop it. Stop, stop it. stop it. Stop it. Stop it. You hear me? Stop it. If I'm going to help you, I need some facts. But Jeff, my boyfriend, yeah? we had a fight, and I left him. I was so mad. And then I went back, and he wasn't there anymore. Yeah? Tell me now. Was, uh, was he all right when you left him? Yes. Yes. But, but I went right back. Huh? Not five minutes. And I found his tanks and his flippers. But Jess was gone. Oh, do you think he could have just walked into the water? This beach. Is it where I talked to you? Yes. Yes, it is. Oh, please. Please find him, please. Don't worry about it. We'll find him. There. That'll hold. Hope he needs more $20 bills floating around the place. Well, it wasn't my fault. The bundle broke. Yeah, yeah. Get the, get the plates. Well, kid, you see the mess you closed? Well, you two are breaking the law. You know that, don't you? That depends on how you look at it. The stuff we're making is good money. Look, these are as good as you'll find in the treasury any time. To get the small stuff all you can hold, I'll get the rest and meet you downstairs. You know where we're putting it. Yeah, and then we meet back here. For the press. Okay. You know it's against the law, and you're going to keep right on doing it. We could have if you hadn't stumbled in. Now we'll have to knock off till I can find another place to print the money. If we could kill you, they might think it was an accident. You'd kill me? Just like that? Why not? You're in our way. That's enough reason. You know something? I never met anybody in my life like you before. Penny and I were still circling the island, trying to find the beach where she and her boyfriend had picnicked. It took a while, but we finally found what we were looking for. This is the spot now. Yes, it is. Okay, better suit up. Mr. Nelson, let me go with you. No, you better not. I don't know what I'll find. Maybe, do you think Chas has heard or something? I don't think anything. Now, you stay right here, you understand? I had no specific plan for searching. The island was small enough that I'd find a boyfriend if I covered the ground thoroughly. And that's what I planned to do when I got ashore. That's what I did after I hit the beach. And that's why finally I found myself investigating a cave. Charlie. Yeah, who is it? It's me, Mike Nelson. Are you all right? Oh, I'm fine, sir. You better hurry up. The big fellow said he'd be back right away. The press. Oh, so that's where they did it, huh? Pretty clever. They bring a paper in from underwater, and they take the phony money out the same way, huh? Oh, those plates. You seen them around any place? The big fellow took them with him. Oh, we gotta get them somehow. No, wait a minute, wait, wait. If you leave me so it looks like I'm still tied up when they get back here, maybe we'd have a chance of getting them. Good idea. You work on it, huh? Your gal, Penny. She's on my boat. She's very concerned about you. So you be careful, huh? Chaz waited in the cave while I headed out toward the underwater entrance to the island. I knew the counterfeiters would be returning by water, and that's where I preferred to meet them, on my own terms. I waited.
He spotted me a moment after I spotted him. He evidently had no taste for a fight. But I did. Straight answers, and I want them fast. You understand? Listen, none of this was my idea. You gotta believe me. That buddy of yours has the plates. And I want them. You hear me? Answer me. Why don't you ask me? Okay, I will. You still have them? What do you mean? Whitney, get some rope for our friend Nelson. started with Penny, telling me I was too careful. Oh, Mike, he doesn't tell it all. Now, you tell it all, Chas. I asked him to marry me, and he refused. Well, he sounded like a very level-headed young man. Oh, and I thought you were my friend. Well, anyway, we compromised. You know, the publicity we got from finding the plates got me a good part-time job. And I'll be able to go on to school, and uh, so will Penny. And we're going to be married after the freshman year. Well, uh, congratulations. Oh, I almost forgot. You're a level-headed young man. He never misses Dempsey of the Deep. Neither right, do I. And now we present another thrill-packed episode of Dempsey of the Deep. Hello there. I'm Lloyd Bridges. Skin diving is fun and adventure for young and old, but it can be dangerous. So know the sport well and don't take any chances. Be with you next week for another exciting sea hunt.